By now you've definitely heard of Varroa, a deadly parasite that attacks itself to bees. In most of the regions of the world, Varroa is responsible for a number of colony mortalities. And we can't say it enough, it's a responsibility of beekeepers to keep mite levels at a low and to treat twice a year. The first treatment happens early spring and the second at the end of summer. If you want to know the exact date for a treatment in your region, go and check out our, our calendar on our website. The treatment I prefer to use is one made of formic acid and it's called Mite Away Quick Strips. The reason I like that treatment is one, it's natural and not harmful on the bees in the long term. Two, it's super easy to use. And formic acid makes it sound like something dangerous. Actually, it's one of the only organic treatments. And formic acid is present already in the hive at a lower concentration. There's two things though you want to keep in mind if you do do a treatment. One, temperature. You have to treat between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius. Below that or above that, the treatment either won't work or will be too harmful to the bees. Two, tools. On top of your regular old smoker and your hive tool, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and some gloves, some rubber gloves. Because you have to be careful. The reason is, these treatments are fairly corrosive for the hands. And if your hands get in contact with this acid, you'll be burnt. That's why I always bring a bit of water and in case the acid does get in contact with your skin, you can wash it away. Now let me show you how you do this. You want to put on your gloves, just as if you were gardening. Inside the container, you'll find two treatments. These treatments are sealed in plastic bags that you want to open up. So use your scissors and follow the dotted line. And inside these, you'll find two strips covered with a bit of wax. And drop them on the top bars, just like this. You'll see the bees uh, react to it quite strongly. That's normal. It's as easy as that. Now you want to remember you want to remove the entrance reducer to allow proper airflow inside the hive or else the concentration level is just too high and it could be harmful on the bees. If ever you have another super on top, you can put the queen excluder right above this and then your other boxes on top. Now leave the treatment in for seven days and after that you can come back to the hive, put on your rubber gloves and remove these treatments and discard them. It's that easy and you don't have to worry about Vora until next spring. So you now know how the easiest way to do some Varroa treatments. I just want to do a side note, there exist dozens and dozens of other ways to treat Varroa, including some where you count and things like that. I recommend to start with this one because it's so easy to use, but go and explore other ones as soon as you get a little more comfortable with these.